Hello everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Learn. In this video, we can see some great previous year questions. I have done some videos regarding great previous year questions. I'll put link in the description box below or in the iCut. Please check those videos also. Okay, we can move on to this problem. In the given circuit, the current supplied by the battery in ampere is. So this is a circuit given. They have asked the current supplied by this battery, this I1 current. And I have represented a node as A, B, C, D, E. Now, it is very easy to find this value. Apply KCL at node B. Apply KCL at node B. Here the incoming current is I1 and the outgoing current is I2 and I2. They have represented the figure as I2 and I2. So, so at node B, some of the incoming current is I1, outgoing current is I2 plus I2. So, I1 can be given by 2I2. By using the figures, incoming current is equal to 2 times of I2. Now, to find the value of this current, we can apply the KVL in the outer loop. Switch of voltage law at outer loop across A, B, C, D, E from positive terminal and negative terminal of the battery. By applying KVL from positive terminal to this part, so you have to apply this KVL. Here it is from positive voltage plus 1 and it is flowing through the resistance. The resistance produces a potential fall. The current entering would be positive and the leaving would be negative. So it is I1 minus I1 into 1 ohm. It is a potential fall, so minus and it flows through here. The entering end would be positive and the leaving end would be negative and it is also potential fall minus I2 into 1. Here the current flowing is I2 and again this I2 current is flowing through this 1 ohm. The entering end would be positive and the leaving end would be negative and it is also a potential fall. So minus I2 into 1 is equal to 0. So 1 minus I1 minus 2 I2 is equal to 0. So, 1 is equal to I1 plus 2 I2 and we have already found that according to KCL I1 is equal to 2 I2. So, 1 is equal to 2 I2 plus 2 I2 4 I2 is equal to 1 your I2 is equal to 1 by 4 the value of the current I2 is 1 by 4 right the I2 current is 1 by 4 it has been split and it will join here. Now we have to find the current supplied by the battery. The current supplied by the battery is given in the figure as I1. The relationship between I2 and I1 is I1 is equal to 2 times of I2. So 2 times of 1 by 4, your I1 value is equal to 1 by 2 ampere. That is 0.5 ampere. Point the value of I1 is 0.5 ampere that has been delivered by this battery. This question has been asked for one mark in gate. So the battery delivers a ampere of 0 0.5 ampere okay let's move on to next problem see this problem by seeing this problems you may feel that it is complicated but it is very very easy here in this problem they have asked which of the statement is true under the condition under the condition a and ra and rb are the input resistance R of the circuit shown below. The circuits are extended infinitely in the direction shown. Which one of the following statements are true? That RA is equal to RB, RA is equal to RB is equal to 0, RA is less than RB or RB is equal to RA divided by 1 plus RA. So, this has been asked in 2016 of 1 mark. Say, this is an RA, we have to find the equivalent resistance is RA and equivalent resistance of RB and to find the what is the relationship between both the resistance. This RA, RA is a combination of 2 ohms and 1 ohms which is connected in series. RA is a infinite circuit extension of 2 ohms and 1 ohms which is connected in this format. But RB is in the connection of 2 ohms and 1 ohms which is connected in format with in the form of delta. We cannot say it is in the form of delta but it is in the shape of that but it is extending to infinite. So, the relationship between the RB and RA it is very simple. See, 
this RA is in the combination of 2 and 1 and if you separate this network in terms of this format right this is RA except this one so RB can be redrawn as the combination of parallel connection of 1 ohms and RA right it is a combination of parallel connection of 1 ohms and this RA if you redraw the circuit of RB so the parallel connection can be given by RB is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by RA 1 by RB is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by RA or we can find the RB is equal to product of the resistance divided by the summation of the resistance which is connected. The product of resistance is RA into 1 and the summing of the resistance is RA plus 1. So the relationship between RA and RB are RB is equal to RA divided by 1 plus RA. This is the relationship. It is in the option of D. Right? Very simple problem. I hope you understood these problems. If you have any doubt, please leave it in the comment section. And if you like the video, you all know the drill. Like, share and subscribe to Wi-Fi Learn. Thanks for watching this video.